Uh, I just want to tell you, uh, first of all, this was actually paid with my own money. We're having fun here, uh, and uh, I'm going to be talking about my thoughts as I build this thing. All opinions are of my own and Geekazine. You can check out the review page to find out more about it. Now, let's take a look at this. This is the LEGO 3-in-1 build right there, LEGO Creator. It is dinosaurs. We're doing dinosaurs today. I'm really excited about this, and I got my... My lights all set up. You see the Roman, it just went out of shot. But uh, we got my roaming light here. There it is right there. What we got, like I said, what I'm showing you is the, uh, is the Lego Creator piece. Uh, it can actually create three dinosaurs, which is really sweet. And I'm, I'm really excited to, to build this and see what happens. And uh, we'll go from there. So with that said, uh, we're going to ring the bell and we will go here. That's my unofficial bell on there. Let's go over to the overhead camera here, and let's take a look at this. So this is the LEGO Creator 3-in-1, 174 pieces. Yeah, if I do that, 174 pieces, building toy choking hazard. So you can make a T-Rex, a pterodactyl, and a brontosaurus. Uh, 7 through 12 is the age uh, range on there, so that's cool. So let's figure out how to open this. That's always the first part. Oh, there's a little spot here. Okay, so you push that down right there, and you can open that up like that. Woohoo! We got pieces. We got bag. We got a bag. We got a bag. Three small bags, and nothing else in the box. We will have we have the creator three in one. All three. Well, we'll start with the T-Rex. We'll see how easy the T. Whoops, that's upside down. Got to remember how that how this works. <laughs> so, we're gonna start with the T-Rex. We're gonna move to the pterodactyl, and then we're gonna move to the brontosaurus if we have time. So, but we're gonna start with the T-Rex. We got the instructions online. You can always go online to find the instructions. They do a great job in putting those instructions online. We have it right there. So let's let's scroll down a little bit. And we just did the first part. We unloaded the box. We looked at the bags. We got three bags here. I'm assuming each bag is each dinosaur. And uh, and go from there. So we can start building. Advert. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, we also got tusks. So that says. Advertisement risk defoment. I don't know what that means. So I think it's this warning, choking hazard. So, all right, this is where we go. We start with the, and it doesn't have the numbers on it, but this one has a white claw, and that's what we're doing. And so I'm guessing that this one right here is the first bag. So. This time we didn't grab our little itty bitty scissors, we, our uh, screwdriver, we used, we're using our regular scissors. We should always use our regular scissors when we can. You shouldn't use extra parts. We're gonna take this stuff, we're gonna set it down here for now. And we're gonna spread these out on the table like we do. Nice and easy like Saturday e afternoon. So here we go. All right. So now what I like to do is I like to spread out the colors a little bit. We got light green, looks like we got dark green, we got a tan, we got another dark green, it has some lighter tan. Uh, so that must be brown. And we got some green, looks like we got some what I call tiles, curved tiles. We've got a really interesting piece right there that has a, uh, has a little... Uh, notch to it. In fact, I don't think I can zoom in. I don't have the uh, the zoom on that one. We got a darker green. That's there we go. We got these little nubs right there and right there. We got some dark gray. We got white. It looks like some teeth of some sort. It's sharp. Wow. Oh. Some more teeth. Some more teeth. Dark green. We got some more black. Dark green. So a little bit of a spreading out. This is a darker gray, but we'll keep it over here. We got a red tile. There's a red tile over yonder. Got that. Got some more greens. Got that. Got a darker green. We got, looks like the tusks. 
I think, or claws. I don't know. I think those are claws. There's nothing with a tusk, I don't think. For the, Oh, yeah, no, the, 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 the brontosaurus does have a tusk. So we got those, we got those, we got those, those. This is always the fun part, just separating everything. We're going to put these little nubs over here. Got that one. Got some more tans. We got some more greens. And by moving them around, I can kind of, I got a good idea of what I'm getting, what I have in this package. So it reminds me, oh, yeah, that I remember uh, grabbing that one. And that one, that one, that one. We got some grays here. Got some grays here. And gray here. There we go. All right. All our Legos are now in the separation spot. So now we can go ahead and do our first part of things. And that's, <coughs> excuse me, that is making these claw tusks or something like that. So we're going to need, it looks like, uh, tusk. And there's one tusk and one of these white claw things. It says it's, it looks like it's white, but I don't see a white one in here. Maybe you can see it. Got that over there. It's very possible I could have. I might have. This might be the wrong one. This might be the brontosaurus. Let's just double check. All right. Maybe, may, okay, maybe this is all one piece. Maybe this is all one bag. So we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll continue on with the uh, unboxing of the Lego pieces. The last one I did, they actually numbered the bags. That was really nice. So, but with this one, I've got some rolling pieces here. All right, hopefully nothing is going to roll off the table. Don't roll off that table. We're going to set these over here. There's some really small pieces. I don't know if that's a piece or if that's just junk. Looks like junk. We'll just set that over there. Anyway, so it's, uh, let's go back here. Let's take a look at this. So the first piece, we got to have tusk. And there's uh, one of those white pieces. And it goes in. Okay, I see how it goes now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and we are going to put it in. He no, no. We're going to put it in here in the end like so. And then we're going to take a, the white bar. See, they're rolling already. I saw that white bar in here. There we go. I'm leaving that third bag closed for now. So and it looks like we put that on the end turn that a little bit. So that is the white tusk right there. All right, for the next step, let's, uh, let's do that. Try and get this all in a row. So it looks like we do the same thing uh, twice. So let's go back over here. We're going to do the same thing twice. So we get one of these white pieces and we, uh, and we put it on the end. Now there's a little hole right there. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that means anything, but it looks like I've got to put the tusk this way. And then, and then there's a third tusk and a third white piece. And we put that in like that. And like that, that's that page. Let's go to the next page. We can move the scissors here. All right, next page we're seeing a smaller tusk, actually two of them, that's five and six. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have these smaller tusks and we're doing this, looks like we're doing the same thing. So we need another one of these pieces right here. And we'll put that in like that. And we'll slide that on. Turn that. And then finally one more. 
Uh, there, that, there might be more than one more, but uh, I'm seeing it's showing one more on this one. So, there we go, like that. Okay, so this is what we made. This is the uh, tusk right here. And uh, I've gone the overhead again. Got the tusk right here. So that we, that we'll set that to the side. And I'm, yeah, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. I don't want to mess around too much anymore. So let's move on from here. We're, now we're going to build the Tyrannosaurus Rex, the T-Rex. So what we're going to need is pieces from this last bag. So let's uh, open up this last bag and go from there. We're opening up the last bag. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Jump on the floor. Our table. This table. And once again, we're going to move these pieces here, 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 here. And this is real time. This is I, I did not open this up before. I wanted to have as much of an excitement to this as you would if you were opening it up. And feel free to open it up. Uh, get yourself one of these, open it up, and then play along this video with me. And uh, and we'll because uh, we're going to keep this in real time, uh, so you'll just be able you'll be able to follow along with me, which is pretty cool. And we're going to move all this up here so we can get in that camera shot. Get the greens over here. That's uh, this one. Okay, a couple more tins. And all of these are gray pieces. We'll move over here, here, and here. All right, now that we've got our pieces all set up and ready to go, let's do this. Let's, yeah, there we go. Let's go to the next thing. So to build the T-Rex, we're going to need what I call a two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 piece, 12, because it's got 12 buttons on it. And then one of those, it's like a reverse piece right there. So with that, that's this piece. And then one of these reverse pieces right here. And it's going to go right on the end. Now we're going to take then take one of these 80s and put it on top of that. And that's followed by another one of these angled pieces. And we're going to put it right there. That's pretty much what the instructions said. So that is basically the first our steps one and two for the T-Rex. Next up, we're gonna need a green eight piece, a green two-y, which is gonna be over here, but they have a dark green and a light green. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a light green. And then we have a two-y with a, it's like a little ball. I think it's gonna be a ball joint of some sort so we got that we got this so we got these these are the three pieces they said and we're going to need two of the ball joint ones so there's another one right here and then singles of the other so what we're going to do with our piece right here is we're going to put the two ball joints on this end right there and right there so as you can see and then we're going to put the 2E green and then the 80 green. And then we're going to have that right there. I need to do something really quick. Hold on. I need... First of all, let's turn that on so we can't, we're not being disturbed. Uh, and then I just got to do my displays and turn off the auto lock so we don't go into sleep mode all right perfect okay now that we've done that uh next thing is they're saying okay get one of these green tui pieces a regular size green tui which is right uh i'm not sure where it is is it over here i don't see it Let's see, it's supposed to be green. Am I missing it? There it is. And then we're gonna put that right on top there. So as you can see, let's go over to the other one here. 
as you can see, that's what it looks like. Little boat looking thing. Let's go back over here and let's go over to step five. Now, there's a really cool piece. This is a uh, one in one. So we're gonna do the one, uh, one more ball joint and then there's a double ball joint. We're gonna need a 4E green and then what looked like the tan, this we had with the tan piece, now we have the green piece. So let's go back over here. We're gonna need this ball joint right here. We're gonna need one more of these smaller ball joints, uh, the green 4E right there, and then this piece right here. Move that out of the way. And what they're saying is on this side, we're going to put the ball joint 2E right on top there. In fact, we'll just do this. This will make this a lot easier if I push this table up a little bit. There we go. So now I can slide this back just a touch. Uh, so yeah, we have that on top, and then that's going to be followed by this double ball joint right there. So we have that, and then we've got the green four piece. Oh, it looks like we've got two of these pieces. So we're going to put that there, and then there's another one. We're going to put that right there. So that's what it looks like. Let's show it from the other angle here. So you have, that's the Kind of looks like a little ship with some nubs. I'm guessing this is the might be the main part of the body. This might be these might be the arms. This might be the head type thing. So I don't know. We'll find out as we go. So let's go back here, and then I'm going to zoom in on this camera a little bit, make life a little bit easier. I could show this a little bit easier. There we go. Now next step is step number seven. We're gonna need one of those green 2E pieces. And then on step eight, we're gonna need a flat eight. And then two of a very interesting piece. I don't know if I saw that. It's a single with a, with an end to it. Oh, there's one and there's two. Okay, perfect. All right, so now I've got those. I'm going to go back over here. We got those. These are the pieces right here. So what we're going to do is with that green 2E, we're going to put that on the end right there, like so. And then uh, we are going to put the two special, these, these must be uh, some sort of hinge pieces. Um, I doesn't show if there's a specific way, so I'm just going to set them like right there. And right there, just like that. And then the green 80 piece goes right here. There, just like that. Let's move on to step nine. With step nine, we're going to need a green four and two of the twoies. Is that a dark green? That must be the dark greens. Like that and then we're going to need this piece right here the alternate head before they had mini figures uh these were these were heads <laughs> at least that's how i used them so two of those one and two and then we're going to need this interesting piece right here i think we're making the head it looks like we're making the head so let's see what we got here that's uh, that's ultimately what we're going to do in the next couple steps here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring it back over here. So we're going to bring those dark twoies and we're going to put them on the sides. So right here, right here, and uh, right here. Another interesting thing is I didn't see a brick removal tool. So it, it, I suppose this is, might be small enough that you don't need one of those. And then this piece is going to go right here. That's the green 4E right there. And then we're going to take these two smaller ones and put them right here and right here. It's showing that it's flush, but that doesn't look flush to me. So I'm wondering if I missed a step. Nope. 
Nope, didn't miss a step. Take this piece and put right on top. Okay. This piece, that's, that's, this piece was the one that, that made it look like I had it set up wrong. So, But anyway, that's how that looks right there. That's step number 10. Now, step number 11, we are going, oh, this might be the, uh, yeah, this looks like the arms. So what we need are four of the four claws. Th these are black claws. Three, they look black here in this light. <laughs> and four, we're going to need two of, I don't know, two of these pieces, no. We're going to need these two pieces, since I grabbed it anyway. We're going to need... That must be these pieces. I don't see... unless Oh, no, they're over here. They're a lighter gray, and their claws like... Because, okay, you have two pieces. You can see that these two pieces look relatively similar but the joint is a little different on that. So we want the one where the joint is kind of on its side. So you'll have that and that. And let's see what else we got. Uh, we need four of, it's like a gray piece. Okay, these pieces right here. One, two, three. There's a fourth one here. I'm not seeing it. One, two, three. They get mixed in with the others? Yeah, they got mixed in over here. There's four. And then two, it's like a dark green piece. And it's got another hinge on it. There we go. One and two. These pieces right here. All right, with that said, this is what we're going to do with it. Those are the pieces that we need. We're going to be making more of the, I'm assuming that these are the arms at this point. So we're going to take those gray and green pieces, and we're going to merge them together, and then we're going to hinge some ball joints together. So that's going to be pretty cool. So let's do that. So we're going to start with these gray pieces right here, these gray pieces right here, and these green pieces, and we're going to put them right together like so. Then we're going to take the this piece. Okay. And it snaps right there. Let's do it on this. Let's show you on the overhead camera here. So as you can see, we've now got, looks like, I'm guessing this is the arm. Right there. Uh, next up is we got those small pieces, and we're going to put them on like so. So they're, uh, they're, they're something's going to, I'm assuming the claws are going to go out that way. And I am correct, so these claws are going to go out. We'll put that in. And this is not an easy thing to put in. There's one. And two. Okay, there we go. And we've got a claw. Hopefully a good claw. So, all right. So I think we do that. Okay, that was step 11. I think we, yeah, we, we do that twice. So we got the first claw, let's do it again. So we bring these two pieces and bring them in. And then we bring this piece in and clip it in. And that is followed by the two pieces like that and that, and then the two claws. God, that's tough to put in. There we go. There. And now, there are two joints right here and right here, and that's where we're going to put these little pieces into. Click. Click. Just like that. And that's what it shows on the instructions right there. Next up. Step number 12. So we're going to, I'm not sure what this is just yet, but we're going to start with 
four pieces right here. And those four, we're gonna set this to the side right now. So we need one of these and one of, is that the ball? Yeah, it's the one of the ball joints. And then we'll need a flat 40 from green there, this one. And then we'll need one of those circular ones that I saw. I think they're dark green. Yeah, they're dark green. So one and one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece right here and we're gonna take the joint and we're gonna put it at the end. And then a uh, green forey right there. And then that's followed by this circular one, which will go off the end of the 80 piece, as you can see like that. Next up, we take a green eight piece. There we go. And we put that right on top. We're on step number 14. And then a couple twoies, and one of them is this other, you remember this, this joint, right? This other joint, they're gonna use that. And then we're going to use a green twoie, which is right here. And those are, that's one and one. So we put that on top of there. Next up, we turn over to the circular side, and that's where we're gonna put that opposite joint right there, and then the green two is gonna be right behind it, just like that. That was step 15. Step 16, we get another one of those green, dark green two and we put it right on top of the joint one, and then we get two of these special uh, pieces, and Right down like that. I'll show you. I'll show you the instructions right there. So that's what it's showing to do right there. So that is what I am going to do. I got one, and I got two. There we go. Now with that, that was step 17. Step 18 is going to be a little bit more intense. I think I need to get a quick uh, sip of the water. Hear some sound on that, so. Mm. Always stay hydrated. Very, very important to stay hydrated in there, so. All right, so now we got this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need, it's a gray, it's another joint, uh, except the two is, it, it, it's on the long side. We're not one of those. We're gonna need a dark green two -y. And then there's a dark green tui with another type of joint. Or is that a gray one? That might be, it looks dark green, but it might be gray, but I don't see, oh no, there they are. That could be dark green. And then a fori in tan, and then a single, we'll go back over here. And then we got the single, we'll move this out of the way. So these are the pieces right here. And then finally, one more of these tile pieces right here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this single tan and we're gonna take the, the uh, two-e joint, the dark green two-e joint and put that on top. And that's followed by on the other side, we'll do the gray one. So we got green and gray right there. And then on top of on top of the gray, we will put a dark tui. And then on top of that, we will put the oney right there. Make sure it's flush. And then that angled piece will go over everything, just like that. And then that will snap into this first piece. So it's probably a leg, maybe the foot or something like that. I don't know, we'll have to see. Let's go, that was step 18, let's go to step 19. There's gonna be three of these technically in the line. Here, let me show you that right there. So what we're gonna need is another single green and a tan four. 
Uh, and there's two types of tan fours. One has no nubs on the top, one does have nubs. That's the only one. And then we want a, another one of those joints, which I believe is the dark gray. And then another one of those green tiles like that. So with that, we will take, we'll put this all together. So tan piece right there. We'll put the uh, this two e right here with the joint with the joint piece right there, and then on top of that the single green one e to make that layer, and then we'll put this green piece all on top. There we go, and then I think that's the wrong piece because it does not fit here. <laughs> if it fits, it fits like this, so that has to be the wrong piece. So let's see, let's try and get this apart. Easier said than done. And I don't have the uh, pull apart tool. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves while I'm trying to figure out how to do this. If I had my little screwdriver, I could probably wedge that in there. Mm. That is not easy. Being cheesy. Let's see if we can use something to uh, pry this apart a little bit. Once again, it, it, at this point, if you make a mistake, you should probably talk with an adult to try and help you get through that. So it's not this piece, not this piece right here, but I think it's, it's a piece that's going to clamp on there. And let's see if where that would be. Here we are. It's actually it was actually in black. So we're gonna put that there, and then of course this piece goes right on top of it all. There we go. Now this joint will come together. And look at that. Fully articulating right there. I don't know what this is for, so we'll just uh, leave it at that. That's the piece right there. That was step number 19. Sorry about the wobbly table. Uh, I didn't realize that that's... I got I to gotta fix that for next time. All right, so finally on step 20, all it's saying is to put this all together like this. So now we know uh, this is actually the tail. We just assembled the tail. We got the arms right here. And so this must be the body. So these must be the legs down here. And then, of course, we have to attach the head. So now we've got the T-Rex body. That's pretty cool. Let's show it from the other angle here. So as you can see, this is the tail right here. And uh, I moved over because I moved over. And then, of course, we got the body right here. And uh, so, and then, of course, the arms. So we got something going. We could play with this if we wanted to right here, right now. But we got more work to do, and uh, that is step number 21. So let's go back over to the instructions, take a look at step 21. Now, we're, I'm not sure what we're, in, we're creating here, but let's just let's move the body out of the way. What we need is one of... It doesn't look like that. I think it's this piece right here. It's a cylindrical piece, and it rolls like the Dickens, so we're just going to do that. Green, we're going to have two of those green pieces. It's got an interesting joint to it. Uh, it's more like a, uh, it holds, it must hold some sort of bar or something like that. And we've got a 40 dark green, and then one of, it's a dark gray piece. It looks like some sort of, hoop harness, and then two of these green pieces, which I'll show you in a second, and then two more of these green pieces right here. So with that said and, with that said and done, here we are. These are all the pieces right here. Uh, so what it's saying is it starts with this piece right here, and we take this cylindrical black piece and we put it right on the corner. 
And that's followed by one of these pieces. This has got the interesting spot in there. And that goes right there. And that is followed by one of these pieces. Now it says it goes like this. Is it just sliding right there? Are we going to put another piece in? <coughs> Excuse me. Yes. So that is the case because we're going to take this green piece and we're going to put it right on top of that. So the, there, there'll be a, a little bit right there that you'll have to, you'll have to uh, account for. But that should be good right there. And we, this is still exposed. And then number five, we take the other 4E piece and we put it in, I believe it's like that. So hopefully you can see that well. And then we're going to put, okay, so I guess with these angled ones, there's, there's similar, uh, there's uh, left and right angles. So it looks like we're going to do the left angle on top and then this round piece like so. And we still had this piece. Okay, this piece goes like this. Interesting. Hmm. Not sure what it does, but uh, that's 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 how it works. It's fitting like a glove right there. So that's what we have so far for the, the pieces. Let's go back to the instructions here. Oh, that's a leg. Okay. So now let's bring back the bode. And that snaps. I think that, yeah, that snaps. A little bit tough. There we go. Just like that. And that's, that's got an interesting articulation, so it can do a whole bunch of different things. So that's that leg. And I'm assuming we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need these two pieces. We need these two now. Let's make sure, because I got uh, more of those these, these pieces. So th these two. We need one of the barrel looking pieces, which I'm not seeing. Hopefully it didn't roll off the table. I didn't hear anything roll or see anything roll. It's up here now. No, no, no. There it is. I'm just going to set it right on here because we know that's how it's going to start. Maybe. There we go. And then, 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 then this one and this one. I think that's it. No, there's two of these pieces. There we go. That's right. All right. So with that, we put this on the corner. And that's so that's where we're going to start. We're going to take the, this one piece and put it like this. And we're doing the exact opposite of what we're doing with that. Well, on that first leg, of course, we'll take this piece and slide it like that, but we will not attach it because the dark green fourie goes right on top. There we go. And then that is followed by this piece on the corner here. And then these pieces go right on top, like so, and like so. And then finally, this piece goes right here. And then that attaches to the other side of our cool lizard looking guy. Pretty sweet. And that was step number. Oh, this is on the same step. So let's let's move on. Now we're going to make the, we're going to take those claw, make new claws. It looks like. And this is step number 23. So from here, 
we are going to need one of the tan six piece and then one of a special piece let's see where is it okay i see it this that's black and then two of a smaller black pieces so it comes from that smaller pile so this is what we've got right here these pieces right here we're going to take this uh 2e and we're going to put it right on the end and then on top of that we're going to put those other two pieces just like that that was step 24. step 25 now we're going to get a little bit intri in, intri intri uh, i can't say it we're going to get a little bit involved how's that there we go so we need one of these red line pieces one of those little black nubs we saw at the beginning and then a it looks like a gray piece that has yeah there we go so these red pieces have are have a they're i think they're called technic pieces and they have a plus look to them so they're going to go through, but we're going to set it through here, but we got to put that, it looks like a wheel of some sort that's going to be right in the middle. So you got to start by putting this in, but not going all the way, bringing this in, and then trying to figure out how it aligns. <laughs> Easier said than done sometimes. So get that in there. We'll push it through and push it through. There we go. And it's not really, it looks like some sort of ball joint, maybe. I'll just push it down on the table. There we go. And so you can see the red on both sides, and so we know that it's flush. It's not a wheel of any sort. It's got to be some sort of ball joint, uh, I would guess. And then we take that and we put that right onto our piece, the tan piece right there. Step number 25. Step number 26 is we grab one of these tile, curved tile pieces, and that's going to go right over here, like so. And then we've got two of these small pieces. They would be over here. Looks like that looks like these. One and two and they're going to go on somehow on the end okay so they're going to go right here and right here like that and like that so let's see if we can zoom that in so you can see what's going on here so we got these two so that's what that piece looks like right there we're going to continue with step number 28 and this looks like a very special piece right here let's go to the instructions it is a wow that is a very okay so i think this is the piece right here i'm going to zoom back in this is super small so you guys can see what it looks like there we go we'll just keep this zoomed in for now so you can see these pieces all right this is the piece right here. Hopefully it will focus in right there. So with that, we're going to take that piece and where are we putting that piece? We're putting that piece, I believe. Okay. So on those two little clasps right there. So it goes up like this. So now we have it looking like Right here, let's see if we can focus it in. There we go. That's what it looks like right there. And this, these ends right here are gonna have claws to them. Black claws. One. A two. And three. Three. So we got three claws. And ultimately, 
that will go on the leg sideways from the looks of it and how it fits. Yeah. Like that. And there's not much turn to a little bit of turn to it. Not much, but I'm guessing. Okay, yeah. They'll go down and they'll be foot like that. So I am also guessing we're going to make another one of those. So I think we have to just go back up and do that, those, the step 25 again to get that all together. So we need another one of those lines and another one of the, these pieces. And then the black nub that looks like a tire, but it's not. And then we're going to put that into the, uh, into the piece. And we're going to put that in, trying to line it up as quick as possible. It's, there we go. You, know, you just have to turn it like turn it like a wheel and then it'll eventually clip in and then push it down so it flushes out with the other one. And then we're going to take the tan 60 piece and we are going to take where'd that other piece go? This right here. We're gonna put that on and then we're gonna take the smaller pieces and put those on like that and like I'm missing others oh, like that just as we did before and then this piece goes on the other side just like so and then we take this piece right here and put it on top like so and then the two angled pieces making the back feet one and oh that's a different angle interesting and that one didn't stay push that in and two there we go so we got that like that and now it's time for that other piece which i'm not seeing anymore where are you i'm missing it oh there it is clip that in there and up and now we'll put some claws and now there's 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 still there's big claws and small claws i'm assuming that these uh, are the the bigger claws that kind of are a little flat which uh usually on the feet that's that makes the most sense and there's smaller claws but i'm guessing that those are going to be for uh the hands so we got the claw and now we're going to take that and we're going to put it right onto our T-Rex. I think I think I did this foot wrong. <laughs> so let's just unsnap that and put it the right way. Okay, this makes more sense because now our T-Rex can stand. Just like that. And so you can see just like that. Sorry about the close-up. <laughs> It's just like that. All right, so now we've got a standing T-Rex with no head. I think that's what we're going to make next is the head. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start. Let's go over to the instructions. We're going to start with a green 2E. Move that out of the way. The green 2E. And then two of these very interesting tan pieces. So I'll bring that over here and bring that over here. We'll come back here. And they're going to go right on top. And just note how, how you have them because they need to be 
the pegs need to be on the same side. So the pegs need to be right here and here, and you can easily have that flipped so one peg is here and one peg is here. So we have that nice and flush. That's basically 31 and 32. 33 is a gray piece with, uh, so it's two on top and four on the side, and we just put it vertical like that. And then finally, there's two little gray nubs they're really small pieces. I call them oneies. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're orange. Because they're, that's all I have are orange. So like a clear orange. And that goes right there. And that goes right there. So with that, that's what the piece looks like right there. All right. With that, let's move on those 34. 35 is a red tui that just snaps on top. I'm gonna, uh, snaps on top of those orange pieces. And then two more of those tan oneies. And once again, they gotta be on the same side as the other one, uh, as the other ones. So now we've got this right here. So we had the orange, and then they had that red piece, and then the, the two gray tans. And notice the nubs are on the same side, whereas the other side is completely clean, flat, tiled, whatever you want to call it. So, All right, let's go back here. Now we take another two-y of the red, and we put that right on top. And then this one is going to be a little bit more intricate again. So let's go back over here. What we need is one of these gray pieces that's going to roll and then an orange clear piece that's also going to roll. Peg kind of looks like a light bright peg, I guess. And then a gray piece, which all this is in that in, uh, was in the little box or the little bag, our bag of little stuff. Yeah, that's a bag of little stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in like this. And we're going to put this on top of that like so. And I'm assuming we're going to do that again. But first we're going to put that right here on the tan piece like that. And once again, I believe, yeah, we're going to do that once again. So we need this piece. We need this piece and we need this piece. This time we're going to do it the other way. So make sure you're not doing it so they, they, they both will align in the same direction. And that's towards the red, red pieces right there. And I'll show you in a second. So we'll put those in. Put those in. And put that on top. Flush that up. Oh, that fell off. So push that together. So now... We've got this piece right here. Focus. That piece right there. It looks like a little guy in the cell, a little Wally. Hi, how's it going? I'm here. I'm me. Yay, me. Yay. Anyway, <laughs> so that's that. And that's what we just built there. Also looks like kind of like a little rocket ship. But now we got to take a green 4 -E and a flat 2 -E. And it looks like we're going to set those right on top. So this one will go on the gray. And this one will, I think we'll kind of flush it out. It's supposed to. It makes it look like it's supposed to flush out, but it's kind of stepped down. Was there something else that was supposed to go there? I didn't see anything. Is there another... Green tui that's a little bit thicker. No, it says one and one. So, oh, no, there is another piece. I'm seeing that other piece right there. So, okay, I must have missed that in the steps. Let's go back a step a second. Yes, oh, step 40. I missed step 40. Sorry about that. So step 40 is this. We have that gray Hin, it's a hingey piece, so we're going to take that and we're going to put that on 
put that there. Had to rip it apart, so put that there, put that there. Ah! <laughs> Do that again. Put that there, put that there. And then we put this little hingey thing on. Now we put that green piece, and now it's flush with the fori right there. And since that was so easy to break off, I'm guessing that the next step will be to, uh, well, eventually we'll have a piece that'll cover it. But right now, we take these two side pieces just like that, and we're gonna put them right here, flush with this uh, red, or this green fori. So like that. So now it's looking more like a rocket ship, less like Wally. Next up, step 43, there's a green piece and it looks kind of looks harnessy. So, and that just actually snaps over right. So now it's definitely looking more like a rocket ship, but it's not. And then finally, one of these pieces goes on top. Just like that. So with that, we've got this piece right here. Focus in on it. There we go. And yeah, it definitely looks like some sort of rocket ship or something, but uh, it's not. We got, just look at the underside. You can see the, uh, the beginning of the build and then the top of the build up here. So with that said, let's go back here. We're gonna need two of the uh, special pieces, a green tui, and looks like one of those white claw looking things. I'm possibly the teeth of the of the, uh, of the uh, T Rex. So we got those pieces. We're gonna take the tiered piece and we're gonna place it like so. Maybe. There it goes. And then the other one goes right there. I'm assuming that there's two separate pieces simply because of the fact that uh, it helps with the hold the structure together a little bit better instead of one main piece, maybe. Uh, but anyway, so now it looks like we flip the underside. And this, this has got to be the, uh, the mouth, either the top of the mouth or the bottom of the mouth. So we put on the teeth and we put on the green tui. And that's showing to be flush with this, but I'm not getting a flushness. I'm not sure why. For some reason, that, that's showing as flush. Uh, in the structure, let me show you. So that's what I've got. That's what it's showing. You see that on 46, how flush that is, but yet mine is not that flush. And it looks the same. Unless everything needs to push up one from the bottom. Let's do that. Maybe I did that. Maybe I, when I put that back together, maybe I put it back together wrong. No. Hmm. I don't. I, I'm. I'm. I'm at a loss here. I mean, that that does not look flush. What that looks right. So I have a feeling we're going to do this again. I don't know. Maybe maybe as we go, we'll we'll see something. So let's let's go to forty seven here. Let's continue on, and maybe I'll maybe I'll see it. I don't know. All right, forty seven. We need. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Okay, so. There's light green, and I thought it was these, but there's also dark green, and they were threes. That's what I did wrong. So I'm going to have to take that off, 
and replace. Now it's going to be flush. And these dark greens, see it all works itself out. And then we'll put that back on top. Now it looks like it's like it's meant to. There we go. Look at that. Crisis averted. So now we take these two pieces right here. The lighter green ones, the fours, and then one of a I guess that's, that looks black, and then we need some tan, these tan, uh, some sort of joint pieces, like that. And then one of the teeth, and then one of these, the uh, flat angle uh, tiered tile, I guess you could call it tiered tile right there. So from the instructions, let's just show you how that works. So it's uh, saying to flip this over, and then uh, we'll go back over here. Flip this over and then set that aside. <laughs> Take the one of the sets of teeth. I'm guessing, I'm, I'm assuming they're teeth. They look like teeth now. We'll put one of the, the, the tiered tile on the, it'd be the uh, left side. If the teeth are pointing at you, it would be the left side. And then we'll take the angled in and, and notice how the how it's going out. And that's if you're if it's pointed at you, if the teeth are teeth tongs are pointed at you, then this would be on the left side and this would be on the right side with the uh, going outwards, not the other way around. Because you have it's not going this way. As you can see right there. It's going this way. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we then flip it around and we put the dark tui and then the joint like so. And then that's going to attach right there. So now we've got a side of the mouth maybe, possibly. That was step 47. I'm assuming step 48 is going to be the exact same thing, except on the other side, which I am correct. So we take a tooth and we take uh, this one. And this time uh, we put it we, we op we opposite. So if it's pointed at me, instead we'll have it on the right side. We'll take that 4E piece and we'll put it on the other nub of the teeth. We'll flip it over, the 2E, and then the joint. And then ultimately, that's going to go right there. There we go. Next up, step 49. There is a black bar that's going to go right into those two tan parts right there. So we're just going to snap that right in, just like that. And let's show you a little bit about this. Let's show you this again. So we have the piece right here. Focus in. Don't look at the man behind the curtain. There we go. And then on the other side, this is that little black, black bar that we just snapped in. So, and uh, these are, the, that's got to be the eyes then. That's those orange dots are the eyes. It'd be cool if they lit up, but that's okay. So now we have the top of the head. So I'm guessing the next step is to make the bottom of the head. And let's do that really quick. Oh, did we forget? No, I must have had, I must have pulled the piece in the wrong direction. So let's go and move that. I had an extra piece on the table. I just want to make sure. So we need two of these flat tan tiles. We need two. Two of the red tiles. I only have one. No, one of the red tiles. I'm sorry. One of the red tiles. Uh, then a tiered, two of the tiered tan tiles. And then uh, two of the hinge tiles, joint hinge, whatever you want to call it. 
and then a tooth, uh, four other tooth tiles, which will get the remaining four. And then three of a of these, it's a dark tan tile. So with that, these are all the pieces that we have right here. Let's move this out of the way. Move it over here. Now, what we'll do is we'll start with one of these pieces and we'll take the red tile and we'll put that right on top. And it'll be right in the middle. So we'll have two on each side because we're going to be taking these tiles and there's nubs on three sides. So you won't have to worry about uh, a flat side and a, and a nub side. So put those three on just like so, just like that. And then the teeth are actually going to go on both sides. So one of the teeth here, one of the teeth here, flip it around, one of the teeth here, and one of the teeth here. So ultimately, we have this right here. Focus, there we go. So we had the red piece on top, and then we did these three tan ones, and then we put the teeth on just like that. With that, those teeth are going to continue. We've got these two hinge pieces. We're going to put it right here and right here, just like so. And then, then we're going to, that's going to be followed by smoothing it out with these tile pieces, which are going to go on which basically are going to make the bottom of the mouth right there, right there, right there, and right there. Let's snap them into place really quick. You'll see in a second here. So now, there we go. There's the teeth. There's the tile pieces we just put in. As There's the bottom of it. There's the top of it. So this must be a tongue. It doesn't stick out. It's just, it's just a tongue. So now we grab the top of this uh, mouth and with these, where these hinges are, we'll snap them in. And now we've got a T-Rex mouth. Look at that. How cool is that? One T-Rex mouth coming up. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you very much. Geek out. <laughs> Sounds like Grover, doesn't it? Sorry. All right, so from there, let's go back over here. All right, we're almost done with this build. So we'll set that to the side. We're going to take, uh, we need that tan piece. We need a green forey. We need a angled uh, tiered tile. Uh, we need a dark tui. We need a joint, uh, both of the joints. Uh, actually, all the gray pieces moved over. And that's going to, we're on step 51 right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to start with this piece right here. We're going to put these two joint pieces right here and right here, just like so. We are going to take the ball joint and put that in front, just like so. And then a green 2E is going to go on the back. The ball joint is up front, and it's going to be back there. So that's part three of step 51. Part four is putting the tiered piece on the right way. And then this 2E on top of that, like that. So now we have this piece right here. That's how it looks. And that's going to go on the back of the head. So there's the head. And then they got the ball joint area. So it's going to snap on like that. <laughs> And that's that. Or oh, I think we're, we're we're super close to done. Actually, uh, we got some extra pieces. I think these are just extra, just in case things go flying pieces. 
as I've seen before. And ultimately, let's take, we'll go here. Hold on. There we go. So now, where's my head? Where's my head? Oh, here's my head. Let's snap that on. Just like that. Yay, I'm together. And there we go. Let's show you the other angle here. There it is right there. Get him up so he looks, let's say he'll stand. Having a hard time having him stand a little bit. We'll spread his legs a little bit. Nope. He wants to fall forward. Let's see. How do we, let's bring this forward a little bit more. Bring the tail down. <clears throat> Maybe the legs forward. There we go. There we go. Look at that. And as you can see, we have a few pieces left. But once again, I think that they give us some extra pieces just in case, uh, just in case things go awry and, uh, and go from there. But anyway, the T-Rex right there. Let's go back to, the, uh, to this angle. There's our T-Rex right there. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine. Build me. Now he's sounding like Yoda. Build me, you will. <laughs> and uh, right there, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the final build of the T-Rex right there. So that's pretty cool. Let's flatten it out a little bit. Kind of spread his legs. There we go. So you take this piece right here, and then these extra pieces. Don't look at those. And there you have a T-Rex. Now, actually, I think those extra pieces, now I'm thinking about it, is this is a 3 one one set. So those extra pieces are going to simply be used as extra pieces for or no, pieces for another build. So we've got, we've got the T-Rex right now. But, and I think that's, that, that took us, what, an hour? A little bit over an hour. Of course, we're doing just a touch slower. But as you can see, we've got that, uh, we got this nice little carcass bone. And then we got the T-Rex, who's doing his, his muscle flex right now. We could put the arms open, so it's like, I want a hug. Give me a hug. I hug you, T-Rex. Mm, huggy, huggy, huggy. And that's it. That's the T-Rex build, the Lego T-Rex build. Let's bring the box back up. It's one of three, so you could tear this puppy apart and build the other two. Or you can buy two more of them and build the other two. And then you have, you know, he'll have a friend. So, and then you can have a nice little play set and go from there. So, anyway, that, that's pretty much it. I think we've, uh, we've covered the whole thing. That is the, uh, the T-Rex build. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let you go from here. Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, tell me what you think. Uh, do, you, do you build Legos? What Lego set do you want me to build next? And don't say the Death Star. I don't have the money for the Death Star. Unless you want to pay for me to build the Death Star. Um, that'll be a multi-day build, and we will do it in real time. <clears throat> However long it takes, we will build it in real time. I just need a head start and maybe a little stipend so you know I can do a build like that and take several hours to do it. So, But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, you saw the socials right there to get a hold of me. And then, of course, you've been watching the Geek Tech Talk Live with Jeffrey Powers and... Uh, let me know what you think about this, how we can improve this. I know some of the camera angles weren't that great this time, but I will. Uh, I, I learned from these, and I can adjust at that point and be able to give you some better shots. So thanks a lot. You guys geek out, and we will see you next time. Take care.